what's up, it's Pierre Meunier, welcome on my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about a new mini DLG, the Toro. Let's go! So here it is, the Toro, and uh, if you want all the text and the specs of the airframe itself, you can just go watch the video down here in the description below, uh, because today we'll talk about how I build it and how it flies, so nothing too much about the specs of the airframe. Uh, so as I told you already in the last video, I don't like that much to mount a T-peg on the glider, so I put a standard peg on it, and lucky me, it's exactly the same color as the paint shim on the glider. Uh, so, yeah, quite lucky on this time. Um, as I told you already, the tails are a tiny bit heavy on this version because it's quite a pre-production series. Um, but the weight will go down by quite a bit, actually. And uh, so the weight of the overall glider will come down too. Uh, currently it's at 149 grams uh, for the correct CG and it will come down I think to 140-138 something like this and it will already fly great uh, at this weight so I think it will be even better with a lower weight uh, yeah oh I build it so as all four in the pod uh, servos mounting for the glider. Uh, there is all the push rods go out of the fuselage, so standard, really standard for every glider, even 1.5 meter DLG. And there is the layup inside for the servos. So for uh, Bluebird BMS 101 um, servos, uh, they are not the most accurate, but uh, they are quite fast and a lot of travel, so if you look uh, to the Diamond D47, they are a bit less responsive but a bit more accurate, so yeah, <laughs> you need to choose which one you prefer, but th these ones are okay, and if you want really big air brakes, uh, big flaps, these ones are a bit, a bit better. Um, I have a one cell uh, LiPo 350mm from T2 inside with a JST connector and D4R2 receiver from FreeSky. Uh, as you can tell the receiver look a bit, a bit big in this uh, airframe but um, if you take the new ones, the RR, the RX4R I think it's named, uh, it will fit really perfectly in this glider. So will be way better. So in a rumbling I think uh, just let's check how it fly. So guys here we are in the field yeah so um, here we go let's fly a bit with this tiny thing so I want to remember you first tiny gliders mean more fun gliders than contest gliders okay so don't take this to go do an Euro Tour. <laughs> it's not it's not made for that. It's made to go fly with friends, uh, go on the weekend, all these things. So let's go fly this thing. Yeah, I can't launch it full power, no any problem. Uh, it just under it. Great. So no issue about that. The servos doesn't died yet, <laughs> so the servos can handle it too. Um, so no worries about if I don't catch any thermal. Uh, today is pretty calm air, <laughs> so uh, I already caught some thermals, but it was not that calm. But as you can tell, it it fly pretty smooth. Yeah, it's this glider fly well, so uh, I will tell you a bit about my feeling about that because you are here for this, I think. Um, this tiny flyer is 
is well done. It's uh, a great uh, middle to high end uh, mini DLG. It flies great. It's well made. Uh, this a little bit heavy side is quite good because you can fly really in any weather. Even if it's a bit windy, it, it's a bit better if it's heavier. So if you live in um, a bit windy country or place, you can just go with a bit heavier glider. And heavier means a bit stronger too, because it will have more material into it. So yeah, quite good. Um, I'm flying with uh, 56, 57 millimeter CG, so it's not the perfect CG yet, I think, but I think it's a good range. Uh, so there is no any tips for it yet because I'm one of the first to fly <laughs> this glider, and um, yeah, so I it was needed to find by, find it by myself. So I think the good range for the CG is from 66 uh, from 56 millimeters of the leading edge to 58. So I'm all there. And uh, yeah, more rearward than 58. I think it's a bit vicious and uh, yeah, more forward than 56. It's just too nose heavy. It's just not in a nimble from my point of view. And as you can tell, the heavy side of this glider doesn't bother it that much because the thermal today are pretty weak and uh, this thermal is quite weak and I can work it without so much of problem. So it's still, still great in thermal with this a bit uh, belly glider, <laughs> if I can call it like this. Uh, it's a bit on the heavy side, but it's not that bad. And these bright colors are definitely great for flying like me, surrounded by mountains. So, yeah, as you can tell, it's, it's a really great fun flyer. Uh, I, I like it. And you can just throw it like like anything if if you are a bit pissed pissed a day you you just can throw it as hard as you can to <laughs> make you feel better and it will not care about that <laughs> so it's great after a job to distress a bit <laughs> it's great because DLG is relaxing and you can just push hard on your launch to leave your bad day out and that's it. If you had a bad day and if you have a good day it's even better because you have an even better day. So yeah, DLG is always great to fly. So yeah, as you can tell it's not difficult at all to turn into thermal with it, with a good CG. Um, and with the right setting, of of course, but yeah, it's a good tiny flyer. It's a ton of fun, and if you go on a weekend uh, or on holidays with your family, all this this glider can you can carry it so so easily because it's so small. It's just the glider to bring everywhere to have fun. It's. It's mean for that. The one meter size is mean to just have fun all the time and anywhere. And because it's yeah. under the 250 grams for you in USA, you can fly everywhere. Is that cool? Is that cool? Seriously? So yeah, just a last little thing I will just turn around me and make me a bit dizzy but I like to do that so much in reviews because people enjoy it so much so if it whistled a bit it's normal it's because I didn't gap sealed the glider 
So I hope this will not make you too much dizzy because I'm about to fall right now. <laughs> oh, oh, I will, I will throw up. No, no, I'm just kidding. So, um, yeah, this glider is nice. Uh, it's just a good little beast to bring it everywhere and to have fun with it. Um, so, yeah, well done, Superfly, a great little glider. So, thank you a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not already, you can subscribe just down there. And I'm out for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.